mighty two elements of nature are listed in columns of similar elements. Each element has a need to attain a complete outer electron shell by gaining, losing or sharing electrons with other elements. Magnesium is element 12 with 12 positive protons in its nucleus balanced by 12 negative electrons. Magnesium is reactive as it needs a full outer electron shell. To achieve this, it gives away its two outer electrons to an element with an almost complete outer shell. Magnesium is an electropositive element with usual valence or oxidation state of plus 2. In chemical formulas, the most electropositive element is written first. This table shows the first 20 elements. All are keen to react except column 8. They have complete outer shells. The most common valences for the first 20 elements are shown below. One early method for determining element valences was to find the number of valence 1 atoms that they combine with. Famous valence 1 elements include hydrogen, sodium, potassium and chlorine. For instance, lead chloride has the formula PbCl2. In this case, the lead as a valence or oxidation state of 2 because it combines with 2 chlorines. Number from 1 to 9 on a piece of paper and write down these valences. These examples looked at simple two-element compounds. Valence can be complex. Many elements have more than one valence or oxidation state. This is more common in elements to the right of the periodic table that have lots of electrons in their outer valence shells. The transition metals in the centre of the periodic table mostly display variable valences as well. Our method so far does not work for charged radicals such as this a sulphate radical. Our new method is quite simple. The sum of the valences of each atom in the chemical equals its net charge. 
So we work out our valences using a simple equation. We will look at the phosphate radical found in cheap soft drinks. Oxygen has a valence of minus 2. We want to find the phosphorus oxidation state. In potassium dichromate, potassium is plus 1 and oxygen is minus 2. Find chromium's valence. I will give you time to work out other examples on paper. Then we will give you the answers. <laughs> 